I am Game Guy. It's time for more. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. We're out of the Ages Town, where it took ages to do a whole lot of anything. Thankfully, uh, we don't have to worry about that anymore, which is a good thing, because I'm in the graveyard and there's snow around. Uh, while I'm here, actually, there's a few things that we can do. Now that I have a rock's cape and the ability to be here. Uh, Cause you see there's a stump over here and real briefly, I want to head on over there and uh, make use out of it. You may have noticed some stuff up in the graveyard that I could probably partake in, but we're gonna need to use some magic to make our way there. Magic known as the power of, uh, I mean, I guess it's time travel, kinda. Kinda, it's kinda time travel. Just maybe a little bit, I don't know, I don't know. But remember this cave and this big old gap that we couldn't cross? Well, turns out all we needed was a cape. And now we're here, but in the fall, which means we can now get rid of these weird purple mushrooms. That, that's not my power bracelet, that was magnetism. And magnetism is not the same thing as power. There's a difference. All right, well now that I've done that, uh, might as well continue the trend of doing stuff around the world. We gotta find the last dungeon, right? I mean, where could it be? You know what, my, honestly, my bet is on this one map tile that I haven't been to yet. In, uh, in Moosh's area. I bet anything that's where it is. I bet anything. While we're here, I also want to take a quick trip back to this stump and change it to, well, I wanted it to be spring, but I accidentally hit the B button one more time, so we're just gonna go have, we're gonna go ahead and cycle through the seasons again. <laughs> just, you know, real quick, like, it seemed like the thing to do at the time. Uh, you remember, maybe, I briefly visited a guy who was like, defeat the four gold beasts. Um, it is now finally time, we can finally do this. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and do it. But first, Maple is around, so get excited for Maple Town. Maple Town is here. This is not a great screen for Maple to be on, but we can't always be winners. <laughs> um, looks like it's just money. Just money. Only money. Nothing else. <laughs> Thanks, Maple. Always riveting, as per the usual. You might notice over here, there is a gold man. Goldman has a lot of health. I hope you have the level two sword, otherwise this might take a while. I need you to go down a little bit. So, all right. The gold enemies will only appear in very specific world areas and only in very specific seasons. In this case, this guy appears on the beach as long as it's spring. Uh, he will not respawn now that he is dead though, so uh, do be aware. There's only one time you can kill them, but that is where the dark nut of gold is hidden. Now it is on to somewhere else. This place looks kind of nice in the springtime, I think. I think it looks kind of nice. What do you think? It's north of the huge beast like none other. Have you seen it? Yeah, I gave him soup. That was fun. <laughs> Probably. Let's see. I always check the shop, but honestly, there's like never anything here. Now that I have the level two shield, you can just buy a new one, by the way. Uh, same goes for Oracle of Ages, assuming I don't ever go and check that. All right, there's just a gosh of seed here. To be fair, I could maybe make use of that in this game because I did not get the heart piece here. Let's check in on Mr. Watch. Still running around like a crazy guy. I'm writing a song to praise G Guy the Great Hero. Still? I mean, like, come on, guy. It's been, like, a week or something. I don't know. It's been a while. Up north is a place of strange power that stops any who would approach. Oh, but it was never there before. 
Mysterious, and also I don't care. Vazu, I probably have a ring, please appraise it. I have three of them. Yo, red luck ring. That's that one ring that I had gotten a bunch in Oracle of Ages, but finally I have it here. Ah, the blast ring. Bomb damage up. I'm not sure how useful that one is, considering I don't really use bombs offensively, like ever. Power ring, heck yeah, sword damage up, damage taken up. Where did I get that from? That's weird. But uh, rings don't do anything if you don't wear them, kids. Always remember, it's just like clothing. Uh, the seasons of holodrum are all in disorder. What will come of it all? Even I cannot see. That guy, I like how he's such a big deal at the beginning of the game and now he's just kind of a random dude that exists in the world. Treehouse, I need to see you again. I need to. It's a thing I gotta do, all right? I gotta do it, it's important. It is, it's all a part of my plan to make sure I waste as much time as possible. Ooh, there's a thing here now. See, sometimes you get to see cool stuff like that. What could that be? I don't know, man. This tree's starting to bear some fruit. But also, there was a Gasha seed up here, so that's kind of neat. All right. All right, well, now that we got to see that, uh, I think it's time we move on to somewhere else. Probably. Probably. Let's go. Let, 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 nope, let, let's, let's go. Here we go. All right, you remember Snake Remains, right? Well, it is summer here now, but what happens if I make it autumn? Truly no one knows. I can, however, grab these mushrooms. If I don't hit them with the Rod of Seasons, however, uh, might be a good thing, maybe? Maybe. There's a ring over here. That might be fun. No idea what that is, but we'll find out later. Gotta make these mushrooms disappear. I kind of wish you could slash them with the sword or something. That might be nice. I have to be careful because I'm not playing Oracle of Ages anymore. <laughs> uh, swimming controls are normal here. Uh, so, you know. Anyway, if it's fall, this guy will be here. Uh, you can just kind of trap him in a little corner right here and there's not really a whole lot he can do. Sure sucks to be that guy. But yeah, there's there's the autumn guy. He's dead now. I murdered him. Moosh, you're silly, but I have a cape now so I can get to you anyway. That's what you get, silly bear. Guys, are you are you ready? Here we go, here we go, last dungeon. It's just an area with tektites. I can't believe all that hype, all that build up for tektites. I can't believe it. I, I feel just the most amount of shame that can ever be felt by a single person. It's all right. <laughs> Gosh, tree, what have you got for me? Oh. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> now I have it in both places. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's that's humorous. That, that You know what? That's fine. That's good. Uh, I'm especially glad I got it in ages for reasons I have yet to bring up, but uh, you know how it is. Anyway, I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue ignoring the elephant in the room because we gotta find more stuff, man. There's more stuff to find. All right, so over here, there actually is a few things I've been able to get for a bit, but I just, I haven't. So I kind of wanna, it might have actually been faster to go over this way, thinking about it. Octorok, why do you have to be rude? No one likes you. Stop. Uh, that's where we got one of the, the, the jewels, I think, so, oops. I did not want to transition into a different sector. Gash dang it. 
Like, there's no real way to know what the sector is, because, like, it just, it's weird and semi-arbitrary. But, like, yeah, there's obviously, like, mushrooms here, and there's vines that can grow there. I want to see what these are, man! The stump is, like, way the heck over here. <laughs> ah. Anything in these trees? I know there's something in one of them. Hi, guy! How are you? I regret my decision. But it's fine. I'm gonna break your pots and your bushes. Joke's on you! It's not like I need money anymore anyway, so it's like, whatever, but... Still. Alright, finally, I can see what is up on this ledge. So the wonders of the world never cease. It's a doorway! Hello, friend! Ah, you are the opposite of the other guy that what existed. Thanks for the hundred rupee profit. I'm still gonna break your pots and your bushes, though. Because I can. Anyway, let's, let's see what's on the autumn side of things. All right, mushrooms, I got ya. I got you good. What resides in here? It's a good question. I found the dead end. I'm very glad I found the dead end. For you see, I was worried that I might have to not have any challenge getting to this treasure chest. It's, it's a constant fear that I have. Oh man, it's a ring. I wonder if it was any worthwhile thing. I guess we'll find out eventually. Anyway, I wanted to take a look at those because they've just kind of been sitting there for uh, a long time. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, head over here. Change the season to summer and now it's time to go to the beach. I, I was already at the beach, but now it is time to, to go south. Somewhere in the world. Uh, if you've already got the cape, you don't even need moosh anymore. Sorry, buddy pal, you've been replaced. It's real unfortunate that uh, the animal buddies just kind of get so quickly replaced. Like, Ricky is kind of the only one that has a function that doesn't replace things. Also, here he is, Golden Octorok. He exists in this corner of the world as long as it's summer. I think dropping in a hole actually doesn't count as killing him, so uh, make sure he doesn't fall in a hole. I could be wrong about that. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, that, that's, just, that's just how it goes these days. One last gold guy to find. Back in Tarm Ruins. Need to make it be the winter time. Winter time. It's winter time. Gotta make it winter time. If you go over here, there's a golden puppy with a laser beam over here. You gotta be careful about this guy because uh, he shoots lasers and he will not. He will not allow you to live if he gets in the way. This would have been very easy to get while I was here the first time. I just, I didn't, so you know how it is. Like that guy's relatively easy to just kind of run into, so it's admittedly a little weird that I didn't. Uh, anyway. Real quick, I may as well uh, check out what is in the Gasha spot up here at the top of Tarm Ruins. I don't really need to, but I figure I might as well. It's available, no doubt. So uh, let's just go ahead and take a peek at what we got. It's a ring! I'm getting all sorts of rings today. Let's plant a new thing. Yeah! Nice. Yeah, even if you do have the heart piece and you want to plant more Gasha seeds, like, there's really no reason to plant Gasha seeds anywhere but the high tier locations. Uh, Vezu, I'll be back in a sec, because uh, I know I'm about to obtain another ring. Let's mild spoiler it up here, but, uh, just thought I'd put that out there. Impa, are you still in this house? What the heck you even doing? 
One essence remains. It'll be difficult, but you can find it. Good luck. Well, I'm glad someone believes in me. Ugh. It's so difficult finding people to believe in you these days. It's just so difficult. Anyway, let's make it summer. I believe the guy was here, right? And I've like already kind of semi forgotten, so uh, I, I need to check, you know. It's, it's one of those things. I know he was somewhere around here, but I'm at present remembering not which one this is. Yeah, I think this is it, all right. You have slain all four golden beasts, sir. You are worthy of true power, take it. Yo, I got a ring. What are the odds? How you use the power is up to you, but do not be tempted to abuse it. Oh, all right, bye. I guess I can destroy your pots and bushes with no remorse now. <laughs> so, you know. Well, now that I've gotten a slew of rings, I think uh, I have to pay a visit to a certain guy who tells me to wear them. Probably. Might be a good idea. Might be. The zoo, I've got some work for you. All right, Mr. Watch is here, he's ready to see. I got myself a moblin ring. It's it's not great, I, I have it already also, so that's cool. That's cool. Ah, that's the quicksand ring, but I already have that one as well. It also stops conveyor belts, I guess. Ah, the double edge ring. We've already seen this. I found that one in somewhere. Where did I find that one? Oh, that was probably the Gasha tree, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's what that was. All right, okay. And finally, the reward for the gold beasts. We call this the red ring. Sword damage times two, but with no negative consequence. You just become twice as powerful when you wear this. Just straight up. Rings, they don't do anything. Gotta wear them, buddy. Otherwise, they do nothing, etc. I'm not gonna use the red ring, because in all honesty, like, it kind of just destroys the very fabric of time and space. Let's be real here. <laughs> um, it just, it's, it's, it's too powerful, you know? I've already got the level two sword. That's more than enough of an upgrade for me. Anyway. Uh, next time, there's an elephant in this room and I can't seem to get rid of it. Maybe next time I'll be able to get rid of this darn elephant. I mean, maybe. If we're lucky, elephants might cease to exist. I would hope not, because elephants are cool, but I'm gonna go ahead and just be assaulted by this pea hat as I wanted to do Far, far east is Sunken City. It's far. Try to find a ride. I'll find a ride, all right. I got my ride right here. See? Right here. See you later, and uh, goodbye.